Hello and welcome back everybody to the Bio Reef. Okay, time for another update on my water box 180. Uh, last time we got a chance to talk was in uh, mid-November, I believe. Um, I had come back from uh, Hawaii and my tank looked like shit. <laughs> it was covered in uh, dinoflagellants and all of my acropora were dead. So I decided to uh, give my tank a one month blackout. And during that period, I had dosed Dino X, which is meant to kind of kill Dinos. So what I did after I shot the last video was, you know, the tank looked fairly clean. I couldn't see any dinos or, or any algae on my rock work. So I slowly uh, ramped up the lights uh, to about 40% on the radions. And during that two week period, there was also no obvious signs of dinos. So I've decided to kind of test the system a little bit by adding some SPS. So I added about four, actually eight new frags of SPS that I got from my neighbor Wally. Uh, by the way, it's always good to bank your SPS with uh, somebody you could trust nearby uh, in case you need to restart. Uh, you don't have to go out and buy uh, expensive frags from scratch. So I added the new frags and within a couple of days, I started seeing signs of dinos and cyanobacteria on the sand bed and on the rocks and actually didn't take long at all. Uh, so it took about a week with full lights for the Dinos and, and the Cyano to come back and the tank looked as ugly as ever. Uh, I quickly looked under the microscope and I confirmed that indeed I was dealing with the Dinos uh, uh, and UV sensitive Dino. So that kind of gave me some ideas about how to take the battle to uh, uh, a new ground, so to speak. Uh, so what I did was I did some changes in my sump. Uh, the first thing that I did was I actually uh, removed all of the baffles that the water box came with in the first chamber and in, I installed a reef mat uh, 500. If you're interested about that process, uh, shoot me a, a, a comment. I'll, uh, I could let you know my experiences. I used the Red Sea uh, Reef Sump Modification Kit uh, to remove the baffles. You know, overall it took a couple of hours and, you know, some elbow grease, but uh, it worked and I was able to get the Reef Mat 500 in. And the Reef Mat 500 essentially allowed me to uh, uh, really like scrub the rock work and the sand and have the Reef Mat uh, capture all of these particles and remove it from the tank right away. Uh, that I was actually was really curious about getting a Reef Mat because I hate changing uh, uh, filter socks or cleaning filter socks. And uh, I like the idea that the junk that's trapped in the mat is taking out of the water body really quickly. Uh, the se second thing that I did was I installed uh, a UV sterilizer. So I got the Aqua Classic uh, 25 watt UV, I believe. And I ran about 300 gallons per hour uh, through it, which is you know, lower than the minimum recommended uh, flow rate. But uh, my understanding is that Dinos will require a higher dosage of UV. And, you know, sure enough, uh, the combination. Oh, uh, one other thing. Uh, I've, I've got some tips uh, on here on, on my previous video, but also uh, on uh, Reef to Reef was to dose Microbacter 7. And I dosed about uh, three, 30 milliliters of Micropactor uh, 7 uh, every night. And I'm consistently doing so. Uh, and I would say the combination of these three things uh, really, uh, really hit the Dinos and the Cyano pretty hard. Uh, so this is footage of uh, what my display looks like now. Uh, yes, it's ugly. There, there is a lot of uh, green hair algae. Uh, but for the most part, it seems like the Dino and the Cyano are kind of mostly uh, out of the picture. Uh, that's kind of part of the process that I, I use to... Uh, uh, beat Dino the first time in my Red Sea Reefer and the tank kind of got ugly but it cleaned up nicely afterwards uh, uh, and I think the combination of the UV I think probably UV was like the, the greatest factor here uh, but uh, I think the, the additional factor was the reef mat just kind of continuously polishing the water and, and trapping and getting rid of junk I'm not entirely actually sure if if uh, if the Osteopsis, uh, my, the dinos I'm dealing with, will pass through my 200 micron filter, but uh, it certainly allowed me to kind of clean the tank a little bit more and just get some of that detritus out of the way that uh, potentially might be feeding the dinos. So overall, I, I think I'm in a good place right now. I I, I am uh, 
I, I am seeing, you know, some of the initial, the, uh, the test SPS that I put in, they're still, you know, half of them died really quickly when the Dinos came uh, back, uh, but the other half are kind of resilient and, you know, they're showing a polyp extension, you know, they don't have the best correlation, but uh, coloration, but they're still, you know, they're still alive and they're not looking that awful. Uh, also added some uh, LPS just to kind of get some, uh, get some more corals in the tank and get me looking at the tank again. So I think I'm in a good place, maybe give it another week or so, do a few more kind of manual cleanup, uh, boost the cleanup crew to take care of the green hair algae. And I think I'm gonna be starting to kind of add SPS again within you know the next month or so. Uh, one quick thing before I go, if you noticed uh, my fish collection, there is a new ras in the tank. It's an eight line flasher ras from the Red Sea. I did have one in my previous uh, tank, the Red Sea Reefer 250, and I love them. They have like this amazing uh, display. Uh, I wasn't planning on getting one, but I was in my LFS looking to buy a new uh, some uh, cleanup crew, and they had this fish for like a bargain, like 40 bucks, I believe. This is big Al's in, uh, <laughs> in Toronto. And, uh, uh, you know, it didn't look that good, but it, it's because they had it with another male and I think they were fighting. Uh, so I think that's probably why it was uh, on, on sale. So uh, I got him, I QT'd him with the hybrid uh, TTM method and I put him back and he's coloring up really nicely and, and gaining lots of weight. So uh, what a bargain, 40 bucks for an eight line flash ass. Uh, okay, uh, I think that's all I have for you uh, today. Uh, so hopefully uh, in the next few videos, you're going to get to see a uh, nice colorful SPS in my tank and not just like <laughs> yucky algae on, on rocks. Uh, and until then, uh, take care and uh, enjoy your reefs. Have a good one, everybody.